Thank you. My name is Paul Nethercott. I've been a missionary to Japan for about 25 years with a mission called Team. And um, I've been making films for about 10 years. I'm sure you've all heard of the disaster that happened in March 2011, the major earthquake, tsunami, and radiation disaster that took place and is ongoing with radiation still being a problem. Um, three days after the disaster, I moved into uh, disaster relief work. I just finished a film project. And um, for almost two years, I worked full time in disaster relief. I worked in fundraising and then producing media for an organization called Crash Japan. And my experience with the disaster and working with Crash uh, changed me. Uh, it was a profoundly difficult experience, and it was also a profoundly uh, rewarding and, and positive experience. Uh, disaster relief work is extremely challenging, and I've talked to many people about it, and it just is very, very challenging. Um, but I, I learned a lot, and I think I changed a lot as a result of working with CRASH and doing disaster relief work, and um, we used media to mobilize over 3,000 volunteers and raise upwards of $8 million. And I was part of a team, and I certainly was not the only person that had a small part in this effort, but my primary role was um, producing media and using social network, Facebook. We used all the, a lot of the typical channels to reach an audience around the world. And we had donations from 60 different countries and volunteers that came to Japan from, from many different nations. And within two years, we mobilized over 3,000 volunteers. And so it was the digital media that really helped us connect with people all around the world. And when it comes to uh, digital outreach, you know, what is our big goal? We've been talking about it last 24 hours or more. We want to see what disciples of Jesus Christ developed. Well, what is, what is the big challenge? Um, and this is not working very well for me. What is the big challenge? The big challenge is making disciples, isn't it? It really is a big challenge to get from just spewing digital media out there and putting it out there to actually seeing disciples made. What I want to talk about today is an incarn incarnational paradigm. And this is a fundamental theological uh, concept that God gave us his word, right? But the word became flesh. God did not just stay in heaven. The word became flesh, and he dwelt, in, uh, dwelt among us. And um, this is the story of Christmas, how Jesus came to earth and walked and talked and connected with people. And we have this circle here of the idea is to connect with people. And Jesus, by coming to earth, made a deep connection with us uh, human beings. And uh, I want to talk about collaborating and the value of collaborating. And with Crash Japan, we collaborated with local churches. We collaborated with other organizations. There was a, a great deal of collaboration that took place. And we created media, created videos, we created uh, text, uh, we had printed media, all kinds of uh, various channels and media that we created, which then helped us connect with people and uh, helped us collaborate. So I view, I view this as a virtuous cycle where um, we're not just producing media, but through connecting with real people in real places and collaborating with people that are on the ground, we were able to form a lot of deep connections and, and get volunteers involved. Now, I hope this video works. Well, one extreme uh, is to go with no digital. And how many of you have had challenge with uh, connecting with pastors and getting pastors to cooperate and work with you? Has anybody had challenges with that? Yeah? 
I've, I've been very frustrated over the years trying to get churches on board with using digital media. Um, it's very challenging. So one extreme is no, no digital, no media. The other extreme is 100% digital. And I, I really believe that either extreme is um, basically an epic fail. Because, for example, why are we all here today? If 100% digital is fine, if we can just connect virtually through Facebook or whatever, why would we gather here? You know, human connection, being together in this same room. I mean, we've all spent a great deal of, some of us, I guess, are local, but we've all made an effort to be here. Some of us have traveled many, many hours to be here. And so um, both are important. The real human connection, being in the same place at the same time, walking together, talking together, and doing things together is really important. And so is digital media. So again, it's this idea of connecting, connecting people with God, and then connecting with each other. And the core concept I really want you to keep in mind is that we are the body of Christ. And and that's an incarnational, that Jesus is still here in the sense that Jesus is within us. And um, as we collaborate, those of us that are pro producing digital media, as we collaborate with people that are doing more traditional, you know, working with people directly, I believe we can do far more than we can if we, if we don't collaborate. For example, filmmaking and producing media is a, intrinsically a very collaborative uh, exercise. So we create, and then that helps us connect again. I'd like to show you a video. It's one of the videos that um, my team at Crash Japan, we made. We um, just go ahead and watch it. I hope this, here we go. Thank you. は日本の文化の中で総合文化でいわゆる手前というもの以外に書それから花それから建築それから庭園設計に至るまで全てのものが含まれているあの総合文化です。どんな催しがあっても出たがらなくて一歩も外に出なかった方がお茶会がある時いて来てくださってやはり心配してた通り彼女も道具を持ってたのに流されてしまったっていう悲しい思いをしてましたけどもぜひここで振ってみませんかと
on that day that we were at this uh, temporary housing unit and did this tea ceremony, uh, we arrived there that morning and we went to a local church and there were two pastors there plus several other people from, the, from that church that joined us and then there was a volunteer from America. I was there with uh, three guys on, on, on our crew from Crash, a uh, media crew, and several other people were involved and we went to the temporary housing unit and did this tea ceremony with survivors and, and we filmed it and then afterwards we made this video. Now, the local pastor and his people, they're still there. And they could never have produced, you know, digital media like this. And they did not have the capacity to reach out around the world and do fundraising and invite volunteers to come. Um, I, I, they probably don't even do digi anything with digital media that pastor and his people they probably do nothing, basically nothing with it. They probably don't even have a website. But by utilizing digital media, we were able to collaborate with this local church and help them do something that they couldn't do by themselves. But the thing is, we could not do what they do. And what they do is they're there, they're still there, connecting with survivors, um, in a significant way. They know their people in their area. And so it, it's an example of through collaboration and working with a local church. And this tea ceremony teacher is, is an incarnational thing that she did going from Tokyo up to the disaster zone and sharing her skills as a tea ceremony master. And um, so what I observed and what I experienced and what really uh, affected me and as I thought about this conference and using digital media to connect with people was that um, you know we need we need both we we need human connection um, we need to be able to touch people to eat with people. And um, we also need this, the digital realm. It's a fantastic way to get information out. It's a fantastic way to tell stories and to show what the volunteers were doing and show what this tea ceremony master is doing and show their survivors. Um, but it's, 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 it's rather shallow. It's difficult to connect at a deep level and to make disciples just using digital media. We, it needs more than that. And um, I'll give you a quick example. A young man that was involved in very early on with Crash Japan producing media. He and his friends, he's, he's grown up with the internet his entire life. He is and friends in Minnesota. Their hobby is getting together and playing board games. And it's an example of how we want that human connection face-to-face, -face, doing things together. Thank you very much. Please, uh, I guess if there's one thing to remember is this idea that we need to be incarnational and connect with people in both the digital world and the real world. Thank you very much. Thank you.